All right. Welcome back in. So uh, this is my work in progress on the uh, Balthazar's mixed use uh, workspace, but also his living space. And I want to show you today how I built this. <clears throat> I think it looks fantastic. And yes, I know you're like, but what, but, but yes, I'm going to make a video just about that. Uh, in this, I'm going to show you how to make this really gorgeous semi four poster bed, but also kind of, um, I don't know, nook bed, a uh, uh, bed in a nook. And that hole right there could actually be a window. If you prefer that, if you have that space, this is inside Braylon bridge. So I don't have a window space there. But we're going to walk over to the uh, testing site. I'll be right back with you. And then we're going to start there and I'm going to build this for you. All right. Here in the test facility, we have this mock up of a corner wall. So you have your structure. This is the uh, floor above you. And you have this little corner space. You're like, man, I don't know what I want to do with that. We are going to make that bed here. I've already marked it out. It is five wide by eight long. The reason there's some extra is because on mine, I put a desk over here. Makes perfect sense to have a desk there. So the things that you're going to need, you need a bed. In mine, I have this large polish, polished wooden cabinet as a headboard and that you can actually stack things on. And I'll show you a couple of banners. It doesn't really matter which banner you use. Uh, then this is an option, the polished wooden shelf. And I'll show you what we do with that. A light if your cubby is not a cubby and it's a window. And then you'll need some of the tall, uh, like six of them, eight or six, depending on uh, how long you want to do it. And yeah, I believe that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and start here. We're going to come down here to this. I'm just going to flesh out this floor. All right, so that would be the floor for it. Now, because of how we're building this, you kind of get stuck in it. It's so cozy, you get stuck in the damn thing. So it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of really for looks. So we're also going to come in one on the side. Oh yeah, a couple of windows. That was the other thing you need. And then on this end, we're going to come up all the way. And then I'm going to give it, I'm going to leave this end open. I'll do that last because it, it is a pain. So this is your basic structure right here. And the bed would end up being, da -da -da. so the bed's going to end up like this, but with that headboard at the end. Actually, I can go ahead and place the headboard because that won't get in our way. So I'm placing it not with this side forward because you won't be able to use those. I'm going to place it with this side forward so it just looks like a headboard. And then I can sink it in a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I can sink it in yeah, about like that maybe. And I think that'll work just fine because then once you put the bed up in there. And I did forget. Well, shame on me. I forgot one step. It's hard when I'm doing all this building for the uh, contest and I forget. Uh, gut out one square down. So this portion that we built it. Well, I should keep it in the wrong button. That we built it up, you got to go down. Because this needs to sit down. Right there. And. There. And then that's just like that. So then. If we were to put this back in here, yeah, that's exactly what I would want. So you would set it just like this. I'm, I'm going to remove it, but look, yeah, I see it. It gives you a headboard that you can then place items on. So I'm going to take that up for right now because it's going to get in our way if I leave it there. Now, I would also place a beam that goes across this top. I'm only going to do two in from both sides so that I have this center piece that I can walk through. Actually, that's only when the bed is there, so that doesn't matter. So now I'm going to go to something else. On, okay, how to explain this. If you look at this wood, you see how it's not flat, and that's perfectly flat. 
it makes it much easier to put these things on when it's perfectly flat. So I'm going to come out one and then go down. I should probably just do it this way. Like that. I know it sounds weird, but the reason is because when we go to put these things on here, they have to have a flat surface to sit on. These don't rotate. If I hit R, nothing happens. And they need a surface to sit on. So if I were to put these on this, you can actually tell it hovers out in front of it. But if I put them on these, it's very tight against it. That's why you need some form of the metal. It can be the basic, me the first metal, it doesn't have to be this iron that I used. So we're going to come in and we're going to run this all the way down. And I'm going to start the way I want to do it. If you see how it has a 45 angle on each end, I'm going to hide that in the wood, both top and on the side. Just like that. And then I'm going to match them up. So look how you've got my 45 chamfer right there. I'm actually going to apply it. Now you could leave that. It'd be a cool uh, structural design if you left it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go all the way up and I'm going to put corner to corner. This is why I said you either need uh, six or eight of these. It depends on how high you're going. So now we have one side. I'm going to flip to a different material different picture frame I should say I'm gonna go to the other side so I'm coming up till it clips go over till it clips like that once again corner to corner all right now not quite done yet so I need to add Is it two or is it one? Let's try with one. I need to add that because this won't actually sit the... Um, what are these called? Banner. The banner won't sit... So I don't want it on this wood. It looks bad. And I don't want it on the front of the wood because then it looks weird. I want it right here and it will go up into the wood. Yeah, I do need two pieces. I thought so. Sorry, I'm a little disheveled. I'm trying to do, still keep doing my videos, but also I'm trying to get this damn build done for the contest, and it's, it's a lot of work. So the way I set it, I set it so that this is right at the very edge, but then I go up until you can just see the metal clipping down. And I think, it, this is my opinion, I think that looks the best. So I'm going to go clip that edge just a little bit, go up until I can just see it, and drop it like that. So now I can get out through it, and then I can get rid of these bo bad boys. So now you have your entrance with, uh, quote, curtains for your bed. Looks nice, right? Another thing we need to do is we need to add the cubby. We're going to do it about like this. We'll leave that for just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and put up the bed. I want to see the spacing on the bed. So I center the bed on the quote headboard, make sure the bed frame is visible like that. So you can see there's a little bit at this edge. That's perfect because we are then going to put a little bit of wall back here. Not with that. We're not. There we go. So I also want to have one across the top. And you need three high and two across. So one, two, one, two. There we go. We'll put some windows in this. Nice look to that. Very, very nice. 
Now, what you can do is you can even lower this on the inside to really cozy it up. I am not going to at this point. And I'm going to go up one like that. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and just place a little candle in there. Make it look really cozy. Very nice. And then now this is your optional step because you can get up in this just fine. But to add some fancy to it, you can either just do that, which adds just that extra touch of super fancy right to it, or you can do it wide. So if you want a wider look, come all the way to its edge, which also happens to be about the center. Let's just go actually right to the center right there. And let's do another one. We want to get this as close to pixel perfect as we can. Right there. How cool is that? Now that's this is the problem. So if I go and I sleep here, okay? No oh man, I love my bed. If I get up, I can't get out. <laughs> so I have to actually uh, teleport out or while you're here and you're still building. What I do, actually do is I come out, I chunk out two pieces and then hit Y to bring them back. But this is a way that you can build a really fancy bedroom, bed alcove, bed pod. I don't know what you want to call it, but it is super nice. And then I put a, a desk right here, so I'm looking this direction at the desk. It's just so cool and so cozy. All right, thanks for watching.